Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. So, I'm feeling a lot better from the last video and of course things are looking brighter for me in the future. Well, technically. But something terrible has happened at home. Um, one of my parents has actually caught the COVID virus and yes, things are looking a bit glum around the house. But, you know, we are still tr striving on hopefully for a brighter future. And yeah, so taking care of my parent um, at the same time, you know, going back to work, you know, because the company needs me and all that kind of stuff as well. And you guys also need me, so here I am with a brand new video. Alright, so let's dive into the topics of today. We have actually brand new missions for the Valentine's missions. So if you guys have actually watched the last video and already cleared the remaining missions because you already unlocked the costumes, there are some brand new stuff going on. So as you can tell, apparently the play clear quantities just keeps going and going. <laughs> the last video we talked about what could have been the possible max quantity that you would you would need. But apparently it still goes on and of course there's this brand new sets of missions for Freya which requires you to have Freya wearing the brand new costume that is featured today in the brand new uh, featured gacha banner. So pretty much the same thing, have Freya as your center girl play Onya no Ko um, girl. So yes, that song that basically Mikumo, Reina and Minmei had to play now is the song that you need to use Freya for. And especially wearing the brand new costume that is featured in this current new banner. So hopefully you guys get the minimum requirement which is basically costume points for Freya's brand new costume. Which is technically an old costume for an old... Um, magazine illustration uh, for the Elements H Party illustration and yes Freya is actually technically the last Valkyrie member to finally get the costume from this whole set which is fantastic it has just only taken us you now technically uh, I think it was three years <laughs> for the whole Valkyrie team to get their costumes from this collection oh well Anyways, with that said, hopefully you guys understand everything here. Just have Freya wear the costume, um, play only a Noko girl as a center position and that's it. Alright, so let's dive into the gacha page and have this done quickly. Because I would like to uh, probably use the rest of the time of the day to do other things as well. Alright, so if you guys have yet to get... Freya's costume to one of the missions, the gacha banner is still technically here. It will disappear on the 23rd of February, so hopefully you guys uh, do your best to try and attain the costume. Well, it is a 7 star episode plate, so it's kind of a very risky gamble. Alright, so let's take a look at Freya's brand new episode plate. It comes in at a total of 3,833 total score with its plus 25 luck value. And of course, without it, it comes in at 3,583, which makes it now the better 6 star episode play out of this generation. As usual, whenever they come out with something new, uh, it will always beat the previous one. Until they some they, until they release something brand new, maybe an episode play with a brand new skill. I apologize for the noise. Uh, something is going around in the house and a lot of weird sounds just come penetrating through <laughs> my room door. Oh well. Anyways, uh, back to it. So it does seem like this episode plate is focused on voice with So taking second place and of course Charm taking a whole dump down the gutter. Freya is the only diva that can use this episode plate. So Freya fans, this is your waifu's exclusive episode plate. So sadly for us who are not Freya fans, um, there's a lot to consider whether you should be getting this episode plate, but you know, aside from the Valentine's mission, basically you just need costume points and that's it. You don't really need to attain this episode plate. Center skill, voice up. So unit's voice is boosted by 90% up, which is a fantastic number, which is the highest percentage boost you can probably get from a center position skill uh, until Dana decides to break the tradition, who knows. Anyway, moving along, active skill, so it comes with the new seven, uh, 6 star episode plate center skill which is the uh, 5 second duration 70% boost in score which is not fantastic but you know episode plates like this usually is just for live skill so 
Then we have a short duration ability. So Utahime score and damage. So this is the best score and damage ability that most six star episode players can usually have, but you know they are focused on a single diva. 120% boost, 20% uh, more than the regular score and damage. And of course, you know, with uh, at the 48 second mark for 16 seconds, you lose you lose your health, um, and of course, you gain that 120% boost and score. Very good for high score purposes, but the current event really doesn't need high score. Um, probably is going to be used for the raid boss event that's coming up soon. So. Yeah, you know, consider maybe if you're right, if Freya is your wife, who definitely you might want to consider pulling this episode plate. But for the rest of us, it's definitely going to be a miss. All right, looking at the last page, no special notes attached to it, so that's kind of a bummer. But you know, 120% boost in score, that's pretty fantastic on its own. And of course, it is the current most powerful six generation. I mean, not six generation, six star episode plate of this generation. All right, yeah. So consider hard. Decide whether you want to toss your singing stones in to really attain this episode plate, or maybe just you know use it for the seven star episode plate for the Valentine's mission. Seven star episode plates are still definitely better than six star episode plates, considering that this one is only focused on Freya, so that's kind of a bummer. All right, so let's do these things as usual. Let's start off with the free daily pool. This is the afternoon session. Hopefully, today's luck is better. Another, another. It's been 3 months and the luck has been horrible for my account. Oh well, eventually it will get better someday. And I really mean someday. <laughs> we don't know when that is. All gacha games are like this unless you decide to toss in your cash. But even so, foolishly tossing in your money for gacha games uh, tends to bite back hard sometimes. Alright, so it is a pretty rare common plate we don't have double digits of it so that's that's a good thing but there was no valkyrie animations or anything like that so that's kind of a bummer who knows all right let's see super dimension gacha 16 yeah i guess i'm gonna pull 10 plates from here because they're gonna expire soon so let's do this you know it'll be nice if something comes out from this pool you know personally i'm not too enthusiastic for free ass banner <laughs> Alright, so here we go. One, two, three. So average. Ooh, five and a golden orb. So we get the maximum strength for Valkyrie animations. Two red boxes on the first bling. And of course, one changes to rainbow. So that's nice. Here we go. Let's skip all the common stuff. Wonder what we'll get. Ooh. Okay. Oh, some celebrative lights. I don't see that episode play very frequently. So Freya smugly laughing, I mean grinning away with her Nyan Nyan costume. Is that a sign for a banner later? Alright. Ooh! It evolved! Oh my goodness! Just when I said my bad luck. Okay, what is it gonna be? Ooh! I don't have it! Oh! Oh, that's great. That's great. So I got a bit of love for Mikumo on Valentine's Day. Oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day to all of you. <laughs> So hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day celebrating with your loved ones. So, oh, we got a bit of love from Kumo Kumo. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, so another 7 star episode plate, or rather 7 star costume uh, collected just like that, which is fantastic. So I guess in the future I can probably, hopefully do a special live performance sequence for the YouTube channel with the Yami Kuri costume set. Sadly they say I'm still missing one, which is I think was it Kanami? No, it's not Kanami, it's Makina. Makina was the one that had the seven star treatment. Oh well. Okay, so that's not too bad. So at least January didn't wait, it's February. <laughs> at least February did not end up being a horrible dry run like January was. You know, considering it would have been nice to start off the, the year with something fantastic. Alright, we're gonna do a guaranteed set of um, 5 star episode play pool as well because it's gonna expire on the 21st of February. So I'm not too sure if it will last for the next gacha video. So I'm just gonna do a single pool here. So we're, uh, at least we're getting some nice stuff to see in this episode. 
as a load bar. So it's either an episode plate that is new or it's involving an older episode plate. Okay, five Valkyries. You'll definitely see a rainbow box. There we go. Oh, it's definitely an old episode plate, but I remember this plate being somewhat decent. Oh, so I already do. Oh, it's Kira fight, so it's definitely an episode plate worth the power up. So let's take a look. So 3,669 total score. I mean, that is plus 5 value. Um, mode score up. Why did I. Oh, I Kira fight it because it has that score note. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the actual feature banner. Here we go. Let's do the free pool. Maybe we'll just get costume points from this single pool. And I can leave it like that. <laughs> Who knows? You know. Yeah, there are some times when the feature banner just doesn't want to give you the costume points. It has happened to my account. You guys have seen it before. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you, even after tossing in like extra 500 saving stones after the discounted pool. There are, there are times that just days like this where things just don't go your way. Okay, yeah, going to double digits for this one, that's fine. Alright, here we go, discounted template pool at 300 singing stones. Hopefully I don't have to go too deep into this gacha. To just gain costume points. I hope you guys have enough episode orbs as well to unlock the costume after you've gotten costume points from the gacha pool. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five. Wow! Oh, rainbow box off the first blink. Two red boxes at the end. Seems like today's luck is pretty good. Not the costume we're looking for. Oh, here we go, rainbow box. Oh, that's a pretty good play. I remember using this as a play of Freya's. So that's not too bad. Even though it's not the featured play. But that's okay. Okay, where's the costume points? Come on. Give me the costume points. Okay, an old episode play. No. Costume points, please. Come on. I think... This has the costume points? I don't know. Uh oh. Oh no! Just when I said we don't get costume points from the featured banner. Oh no! <laughs> it seems like I have to keep pulling for costume points. Oh no. I, I jinxed myself. I totally jinxed myself. That's just horrible. Okay, so we're gonna do another template pool and really that's it but personally for you guys you don't really have to do template pools although technically we've tested it before template pools technically will give you better luck than single pools but you know if you're trying to save the singing stones and just want the costume points just do single pools and hopefully you just get it you know with the least amount of pools possible so you can save your singing stones for other things in the future but you know being a youtuber um, we just have to do the most beneficial thing, uh, even though it might cost me. Oh no, there's no load bars. That is not good. Okay, and now we're getting the mediocre luck. Alright. Ooh, red boxes. Okay. Hopefully they evolve. Something I don't see very often as well. Oh my costume points. This is not looking good. Do they not want me to clear the Valentine's mission? Uh oh. Come on. There we go. So this is a brand new plate with the brand new costume points. So that's that's good. I I have done what I needed to get. <laughs> That's it guys, so, ooh, ooh, double copies, and it evolves, wow, <laughs> at least it didn't end up too horrible, um, so there it is, the notification that I have costume points for this brand new costume for Freya's, and I can use episode ops to unlock it if I require, of course I will be doing it, 
you know, I just need to clear the Valentine's missions. Uh, yeah, so anyway guys, hopefully you guys did your own personal pools. Uh, if you have already, hopefully you did get something nice, let me know in the comment section as always. If you have yet to do it, I wish you guys all the best for your own personal pools. Um, hopefully you didn't have to waste too many singing stones like I did. Uh, at least we did get a 7 star episode play or rather a 6 star episode play out from the Super Dimension Gacha. So that's pretty fantastic. So anyway guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys have a blessed day with your loved ones celebrating Valentine's. Uh, and of course ladies out there, hopefully if you do celebrate White Day, you know, return the favour back to your love, uh, your, your man. You know, show him some love on White Day itself, which is next month on the 14th as well. You know, if you guys actually celebrate White Day. And until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!